ठीक है ओके मेकिंग अ वीडियो नाउ हाय एवरीवन सो दिस इंफॉर्मेशन इज रिगार्डिंग द पीएचडी एप्लीकेशन फ्रॉम द बी ए आर सी सेंटर राइट सो दिस इज फॉर द पीएचडी applications right number of fellowship is 105 indicative like it's not a exact number but it might increase or decrease based upon the requirements what's the last date so aaj 29th april hai it is still 19th of may so make sure ki agar aapko apply karna hai aap easily apply kar sakte hain so ye hai kahan par it is in mumbai it's a premier institute dedicated to for research Uh, in the nuclear energy program of india right and it is offering junior research fellowships in the area of physical chemical and the life sciences right what all things are important for you to remember very first thing yahan par applications liye ja rahe hain for the award of jrf at this center all the selected candidates will register for the phd in the hbni homi baba national institute which is a deemed to be university and in of the department of atomic energy so you have to apply in over here kaun se kaun se area of research hai physical sciences chemical sciences aur iske alawa hamare paas life sciences bhi hai life sciences ke andar agar aap interested hai cancer biology mein diagnostics therapeutics immunology microbiome targeted therapy functional organic material radiation biology nuclear medicine crispr biology structural biology so if you are interested in these all areas biosensors pest control biofilms because ye ek atomic energy ya atomic area content ke related uh, complete department hai so usi se related yahan par sare research applications jayenge if you are interested in any of these programs you can go ahead and put your uh, applications of there right your age should be less than 28 years as on 1st august 2025 so is year ke agar aap uh, august tak 28 years ke nahi hote hain so you can apply in over here and there's a relaxation for the obc category 5 year relaxation for the scheduled cast and scheduled tribe and 10 year relaxation in the persons if they are from the pwbd applicants right only ssc or 10th certificate will be taken up as a proof no subsequent request for change shall be entertained so you have to make sure ki jo 10th ka certificate hai wo aapka birth certificate liya ja sakta hai then you should have a, a very good academic score yahan par jin students ke paas ugc csir net hai slet hai लेक्चरशिप एल एस कंसिडर नहीं होगा जे आर एफ फेलोशिप है जेई एस टी स्कोर है या फिर आई सी एम आर जे आर एफ आई सी ए आर जे आर एफ डी बी टी जे बी जे आर बी गेट स्कोर इन फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री लाइफ साइंस बायोटेक्नोलॉजी या फिर लास्ट एग्जाम इनमें से कोई भी आपका एग्जाम आपके पास है तो आप अप्लाई कर सकते हैं रिमेम्बर अगर आपके पास सी एस आई आर नेट है और जे आर एफ नहीं है आप अप्लाई नहीं कर सकते यू शुड बी हैविंग jrf over there candidate should clearly indicate the above qualifying examination and it should be valid as on 1 8 2025 aapki validity bhi honi chahiye us exam ki next aapke paas minimum 60 marks 60% marks hone chahiye bsc and 55% marks in your msc candidates with five year integrated msc bs ms single degree should have secured at least 55% candidates having four years or eight semester bachelors bs with fourth year research with minimum 75 can also apply in so agar aap four year program mein the bachelors ke so wahan par fourth year jo hota hai wo master wo research ka hota hai there you should have at least 75% marks tab bhi aap apply kar sakte hain in addition if you are someone who is waiting for their masters degree they can also apply in you should apply you should like uh, upload your copies of mark sheet of bsc degree or msc first year whichever is the latest one and usme aapka jo aggregate hai agar aapka uh, aap second year mein hai so for second semester ka aapka aggregate at least 60% level ka hona chahiye and uh, in addition to that 55% marks in the msc qualifying degree failing to which the you will not be allowed in the program so there is a basic criteria basic exam uh, age and 
exam marks criteria for the same right then main subject agar aap msc integrated ya bs four year program mein hai so physics ke liye mathematics shall be one of the subject for chemistry physics will be taken up as a ancillary subject at the bsc level candidates who have not scored passing marks in physics at the bsc level they are not eligible to apply you should have a basic knowledge in physics as well for life sciences you should have physics or chemistry or biotech biochemistry or agricultural chemistry as one of the subject in the bsc or five year msc program right so remember all these things very very important kya selection process hoga applications ko properly analyze kiya jayega scrutinize kiya jayega candidates will be shortlisted for interview and uske basis par based upon their exam exams qualified based up, based upon their academic performances then the final selections will be done and interview will be taken up फाइनल सिलेक्शन जो होगा वो परफॉर्मेंस के बेस पर होगा एंड देन द डिसीजन ऑफ द सिलेक्शन कमेटी विल बी फाइनल नो एग्जामिनेशन इज देयर यू जस्ट हैव टू अप्लाई इन एंड देन द इंटरव्यू कॉल विल बी देयर सो अगर आपको अप्लाई करना है सो इफ यू फील लाइक दैट दिस एग्जामिनेशन दिस पर्टिकुलर एरिया इज ऑफ योर इंटरेस्ट एरिया यू कैन गो अहेड एंड अप्लाई राइट Uh, then 500 rupee fees is there. Exemption is for the women candidates and the women and the people belonging to the SC, ST and the PWD category. Otherwise, baki sab ka 500 rupees category ka. Oh, uh, uh, you have to pay 500 rupees for the same, which is the online site. So you have to apply in over here. That is recruit dot b a r c dot g o v dot in, and you should uh, application should. will be up taken up only app via online thing you should not go and uh, put it hand over or and also only one of the multiple app one of the application is allowed you cannot apply more than one time then it is very very important to indicate all the professional and uh, educational qualifications failing to which the application will not be processed in aapko form fill karte time make sure karna hai ki aap jitni bhi information ko अप्लाई डालेंगे वो सब ऑथेंटिक करेक्ट एंड टोटल होनी चाहिए राइट देन कैंडिडेट्स कॉल्ड फॉर द इंटरव्यू विल बी रिम्बर्स टू एंड फोर द थर्ड ए सी रेलवे फेयर बाय द शॉर्टेस्ट रूट फ्रॉम द रजिस्टर्ड मैंशन एड्रेस टू मुंबई एज पर रूल देन इफ द कैंडिडेट्स वॉन्ट टू ट्रेवल बाय एयर ओनली सेकेंड ए सी थर्ड टायर नॉर्मल फेयर और एक्चुअल फेयर विच एवर इज लेसर फ्रॉम द रजिस्टर्ड एड्रेस विल बी गिवन टू देम सो आपको ट्रेवल अलाउंस भी मिलेगा बट इट विल बी अगर आपको ट्रेन से ट्रेवल करना है यूल गेट द रिम्बर्समेंट बट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू ट्रेवल बाय एयर देन फॉर दैट ओनली वेरी नॉमिनल फेयर विच एवर इज लेसर विल बी गिवन टू यू देन सिलेक्टेड कैंडिडेट्स विल बी एलिजिबल टू ज्वाइन द कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटरी हेल्थ सर्विस स्कीम ऑफ द सेंटर फॉर सेल्फ ऑन पेमेंट ऑफ द प्रिस्क्राइब कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन देन योर क्या होगा सो दे फर्स्ट दे गिवेन अ स्टाइप थर्टी सेवन थाउजेंड पर मंथ it will be provided initially for 2 years continuation of the fellowship and based upon agar aapka requirement aur aapki performance bahut achhi rehti hai so from the third year it will be 42000 per month total duration is 5 years this is entitled with a contingency of 60000 per year including the book allowances right so remember this and also if the performance is not found satisfactory at any stage of the phd program aapki phd program ko enroll uh, terminate kar diya jayega and a phd registration can be cancelled due to disciplinary proceedings if the student violates any of the university rule any be bad behavior any serious behavioral issue data fabrication anything you will be terminated so you have to be very much careful about it then accommodation uh, hra 30% hra will be provided to you based upon like for city in mumbai it is 30% then uh, cancellation of the uh candidate in if the candidate is providing false information misleading information uh, forged documents or anything which is against the policy anything which is against the uh, normal basic law you will be subjected to debardation right so remember this calendar is 28th that is it started yesterday and it is till 19th of may interview will be in june and july based upon the final results from the uh authorities then application is deemed to have received only after uploading the uh, before the last date so make sure that you are applying it on time and you are applying all the correct documents on time records of the non selected candidate shall not be preserved beyond 6 months 
from the date of publication of the select list. So remember, you will be apply. You can apply in, and your data will be saved in only for six months, and then it will be removed off. So if by chance any other notification comes in next year, you'll have to apply again. That's the main part of it. So this is the entire information for your B A R C Center. Very very uh important update if you wish to apply in the phd for the this particular institute it's a very reputed institute in india if you want to apply in there go again go ahead apply make sure to apply in properly and all the very best if you have any doubt how to apply in everything i'll help you out in the entire segment you can whatsapp me on the number you have our whatsapp number you can contact us and i'll try to help you out in the best manner Okay, bye everyone. Take care. All the best.